I collected my new Yaris XL with Tech Pack on the 30th of December 2022. It's now October the 26th, 2023, so the car is only 10 months old. Unfortunately, this is my new car today. When I tried to start the car this morning, this was what I saw on the display. The two bits of text in white background are not normal. The car is clearly not happy. When all the other lights go out, there are still two warning lights on. The engine malfunction light and the power steering light. The left display isn't correct either because there's only the EV light. This should have the hybrid system display and the gear position symbol. I tried three or four times to start the car. The first time the car said something about low battery, but I obviously wasn't videoing it the first time. I obviously couldn't drive the car, so I called Toyota Assistance. The response was excellent. The AA man arrived in around 15 minutes. I showed him the video clip of the dashboard display. He immediately suspected the 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery is under the back seat behind the driver. He put his battery tester on the 12 volt battery and the results were not good. The battery was not holding charge and the tester recommended a new battery. The AA man then jump started my car. If you want to know how to jump start a Yaris, take the top of the fuse box on the passenger side off and connect the red jump start cable to the jump start contact in the fuse box which the AA man is pointing to in this picture. And connect the black jump start cable to the engine on the left hand side. The AA man said the battery test results were so bad that he's not sure the car will start again if I turn it off. So I drove it immediately to my Toyota dealer. While driving it to the dealer, I noticed the heads up display is no longer working. So the car is now with the Toyota dealer, who says that they will put it on charge overnight and check the battery tomorrow morning. It's such a new car that I expect a new 12 volt battery to be fitted and the heads up display to be fixed. I hope the dealer will contact me tomorrow morning to confirm that this has been done. I will post another video when I've got my car back.